And then, in the 1950s, philosophers had this novel idea that perhaps the mind is just identical with the brain. Okay? And this had occurred to philosophers before, and so happened, it happened around the same time the first department of neuroscience started forming like MIT in Sanford so far. But basically, there is a couple of philosophers both educated here in Oxford Place, 1956, and Smart, 1959, and they made the claim that the mind just is the brain. So that is the identity theory, and with identity, identity in logic is the strongest relation. When you have identity between A and B, you don't have two things, you have one thing. All right? So now when you talk about mental events, you are talking about brain events. Maybe when you talk about brain events, you are talking about mental events. So that's the identity theory. The identity theory is very popular and the basic idea is that mental properties are just properties of the brain. So happiness economics can help us get to these questions, and I'll try to give you some examples of this. Now, even though there's a lot of skepticism, originally about using this survey, surveys what people say make them happy. The number of reason that we are getting increasingly confident in doing so. One is that their consistent pattern, remarkable consistent pattern, determines well-being across large samples of people, across countries, across the world, and over time. Some of the basic things that make people happy, and I will show you some of these income health, marital status, employment status. Some of these very basic things are remarkably consistent across countries across world. So that gives us some sense that these surveys are picking up consistent patterns. And when we know what consistent patterns are, we can look how other things that very much more affect people's well-being, the environment and equality, the nature's institution raging on living, and all kinds of other things that vary much more. What if you could make your sleep more efficient? As a sleep scientist, this is the question that has captivated me for the past 10 years. Because while the light bulb and technology have brought about a world of 24-hour work and productivity, it has come at the cost of our naturally occurring 
circadian rhythm and our body's need for sleep. The circadian rhythm dictates our energy level throughout the day, and only recently we've been conducting a global experiment on this rhythm, which is putting our sleep health and ultimately our life quality in jeopardy. Because of this, we aren't getting the sleep we need. With the average American sleeping a whole hour less than they did in the 1940s, for some reason we decided to wear it as a badge of honor that we can get by on not enough sleep. This all adds up to a real health crisis. Most of us know that poor sleep is linked to diseases like Alzheimer's, cardiovascular disease, stroke, and diabetes. And if you go untreated with a sleep disorder like sleep apnea, you're more likely to get many of these illnesses. But did you know about sleep's impact on your mental states? Poor sleep makes us make risky, rash decisions and is a drain on our capacity for empathy. When sleep deprivation literally makes us more sensitive to our own pain. It's not so surprising that we have a hard time relating to others and just generally being a good and healthy person when we're sleep deprived. The opposite of an opportunist is a competitor. These organisms tend to have big bodies, are long-lived, and spend relatively little effort each year on reproduction. An oak tree is a good example of a competitor. A massive oak claims its ground for 200 years or more, outcompeting all other would-be canopy trees by casting a dense shade and drawing up any free water in the soil. The leaves of an oak tree taste foul because they are rich in tannins, a chemical that renders them distasteful or indigestible to many organisms. The tannins are part of the defense mechanism that is essential to longevity. Although oaks produce thousands of acorns, the investment in a crop of acorns is small compared with the energy spent on building leaves, trunk, and roots. Once an oak tree becomes established, it is likely to survive minor cycles of drought and even fire. A population of oaks is likely to be relatively stable through time, and its survival is likely to depend more on its ability to withstand the pressures of competition or predation than on its ability to take advantage of chance events. It should be noted, however, that the pure opportunist or pure competitor is rare in nature, as most species fall between the extremes of a continuum, exhibiting a blend of some opportunistic and some competitive characteristics.
the ocean has been getting bluer, according to a study published in the journal Nature. But that's not really good news for the planet. It means that the plants that give the ocean its green tint aren't doing well. Scientists say that's because the ocean has been getting warmer. It is about a hundred years since that great Canadian-born physician Sir William Osler, Regius Professor of Medicine in Oxford, complained about the increasing influence of the pharmaceutical industry on the medical profession. He would be turning in his grave at the way the industry now dominates doctors' prescribing habits. It does this not only by direct and indirect pressure on the doctors themselves, but also by encouraging the public to ask for scripts. My current research at the moment is really quite broad. I work at the interface between the arts and humanities, particularly archaeology, but trying to find questions which are difficult to answer unless you start integrating computing and visualization so really I work in this boundary between trying to understand cultural questions about the past, but those sorts of questions that you can't address unless you start reconstructing, start modeling and visualizing past landscapes objects and movement of people. If you're like most parents, you remember sending your kindergartner off to school with a backpack bigger than they were. While your child may be able to shoulder it, students are now weighed down more than ever by these cumbersome packs. Which is why, say experts, more kids than ever before are complaining about back and neck pain. With school starting up again, a likely reason for the complaints is the heavy load they're carrying. And we're not talking about classes, with everything from textbooks to laptops to musical instruments crammed inside. Consider this, the Federal Consumer Product Safety Commission calculated that carrying a 12-pound backpack to and from school and lifting it 10 times a day for an entire school year puts a cumulative load on youngsters' bodies of 21,600 pounds, the New York Times reported, or the equivalent of six mid-sized cars. Testing one's drinking water can be intimidating to a household well owner, but it can be easy if you know a few basic steps, says the National Groundwater Association NGWA. If you are concerned about your well water, these three steps can help get owners the appropriate tests for contaminants that might present a health risk, or create taste, odor, or appearance problems. 1. Determine what you should test for in your water. 2. Obtain a reliable water test. 3. Get an interpretation of your test results so you can take any appropriate action.
NGWA recommends that well owners test annually for bacteria, nitrate, and anything of local concern, for instance, naturally occurring hazards, such as arsenic, or man-made, such as chemical or heavy metals from industrial or waste sites. Most county health departments do some water testing, and many well owners are within a reasonable distance of a drinking water testing lab. Both are good places to start in finding out whether there might be a local issue. The summer heat has peaked, and blistering temperatures are especially noticeable on scorching city streets. Known as the urban heat island effect, this phenomenon labels the way urban environments trap more heat than nearby suburban and rural areas. As a result, increased energy demands and air pollution are often anticipated, yet unavoidable. All the concrete and the blacktop warm up faster, says Lauren Nash, a meteorologist with the National Weather Service. So it keeps the city hotter and it stays hotter longer. Last year, more than 10 million taxpayers applied for a tax extension on filing their returns, thus, not only sparing themselves from having to fork over a monthly 5% penalty for missing the IRS dreaded deadline, but also potentially avoiding making costly mistakes in a mad dash to As summer winds down, every boat owner clings to those last few warm days to take his or her boat out on the water with family and friends. Unfortunately, summer doesn't last forever and as the sun sets on another boat season, it is time to start thinking about how to store your boat and outboard engine for those off-season. I want to explore certain issue with you. There is no conclusion to my top, there is no closure. I think over time throughout history, cities have changed in whether they were strategic spaces or routinized spaces. This, our global modernity is the time when cities are strategic. That does not mend all cities but that means that certain cities throughout the world become spaces where our most acute problems, our major government challenges, hit the ground becomes concrete, become urgent. The city, urban, space has a capacity to pull down a lot of stuff that otherwise stated up there. Take the environmental question national states can talk and talk and talk for years. Kyoto took years but in the meantime, 
cities have to deal with the environment list. I want to explore certain issue with you. There is no conclusion to my top, there is no closure. I think over time throughout history, cities have changed in whether they were strategic spaces or routinized spaces. This, our global modernity is the time when cities are strategic. That does not mean all cities but that means that certain cities throughout the world become spaces where our most acute problems, our major government challenges, hit the ground, becomes concrete, become urgent. The city, urban, space has a capacity to pull down a lot of stuff that otherwise stated up there. Take the environmental question national states can talk and talk and talk for years. Kyoto took years but in the meantime, cities had to deal with the environment list. It is wrong, however, to exaggerate the similarity between language and other cognitive skills, because language stands apart in several ways. For one thing, the use of language is universal all normally developing children learn to speak at least one language, and many learn more than one. By contrast, not everyone becomes proficient at complex mathematical reasoning, few people learn to paint well, and many people cannot carry a tune. Because everyone is capable of learning to speak and understand language, it may seem to be simple. But just the opposite is true language is one of the most complex of all human cognitive abilities. It is wrong. However, to exaggerate the similarity between language and other cognitive skills, because language stands apart in several ways. For one thing, the use of language is universal all normally developing children learn to speak at least one language, and many learn more than one. By contrast, not everyone becomes proficient at complex mathematical reasoning, few people learn to paint well, and many people cannot carry a tune. Because everyone is capable of learning to speak and understand language, it may seem to be simple. But just the opposite is true language is one of the most complex of all human cognitive abilities. It may not mean that it is possible to solve the problem easily. It may not mean that it is possible to solve the problem easily. The poster of this play is hung in the large lecture theater. The poster of this play is hung in the large lecture theater. All students are expected to participate in all class activities. All students are expected to participate in all class activities.
If you like our video kindly subscribe our channel and also press the low bell icon. Thank you.